Hello everybody. Today we're going to uh, get the Amazon SQS transport going from nothing to completely up and running. That includes a, uh, we'll even configure the IAM permissions needed to access the SQS service and the SNS service. We're not necessarily going to do it in the best fashion. Uh, so that's kind of out of scope of this particular demo, but you will be able to see the IAM permissions that you need. With that said, uh, if you're going to be doing mass transit work, I highly recommend the mass transit templates. So for those, uh, let's go ahead and get those installed. So that'll be .NET new dash I for add mass transit templates. And those are installed. You can see that there's uh, a variety of templates that you can use. The first one we're going to use is the MT worker .NET new MT worker. This gives us a really nice console getting started. It's just a really nice place to just get to get started. All right, so we've got that. Let's go ahead and fire up Rider here. And we have what you're going to see here is just a very simple console app that's going to spin up the host builder. You're going to configure your services. We're going to add in mass transit. There's some stuff in here that we don't particularly care about for today. This is how our consumers are going to get registered into the container and on the bus for us dynamically. And we can see here that we're using the in-memory uh, transport. There's another demo if you want to hear more about that. But simplistically, it's, it's really great for testing and just getting started. With that said, the next thing that we need to do is add a consumer. And we need a message. So for that, I'm going to say .NET uh, new empty consumer and give this the name hello. We can see that we've got uh, here's our message and as the rule is we must print hello world to the terminal. We're going to go ahead and rename this to name so that we've got that and then in our consumer you can think of the consumer as the controller of an MVC. So in mass transit, we have consumers. MVC, you have controllers. And in MVC controllers, you have an HTTP context. In mass transit, you have a consume context. So there's a lot of parallels here that should make it feel pretty comfortable. <clears throat> what I want the consumer to do whenever it gets a message is I just want it to write something to the console. And for this, I'm going to use mass transit's logging extensions. So we got the hello consumer. Oops. Logger, constructor, get that in there. Logger, log information. Hello, darkness, my old friend. And we'll go, so off of the context, we have the message. You can see there's a lot of stuff kind of going on here in the message. In the context that you can take advantage of, definitely worth exploring and getting a handle on. But in this case, I just want the message and I just want the name property off of the message. The hello consumer definition we're not going to go into today, but it allows advanced configuration of the consumer instance itself. So there's our message. And now we need a way to add in a new, we need a, a way to publish messages. So for that, I'm going to make a class called worker. And it's going to inherit from the background service of the, from the hosting platform. And what we're going to do is simply publish a message every second. Uh, in order to do that, we're going to go inside of a while loop. And so while the stopping token hasn't been canceled, that, that reads funky. But what this is trying to say is uh, when someone does eventually cancel, we'll exit the while loop. So until then, we need to grab a bus instance. So we get the iBus. And then we'll come down here. If I'm going to do weights, I have to have a sync. Wait, bus publish new hello. Name is world, of course, stopping token and await task.delay stopping token. 
Okay, so that is the execute async method of our worker. Now we need to register it in the, cont in the container so that it can get started. We'll come down here after the add mass transit and we'll say services.add hosted service. We'll add the worker. And that should do it. We should now have a fully functional implementation of the in-memory transport.net run. Clear the terminal. Boom. Hello world, hello world, hello world. So with that said, now let's go back and let's make this work with Amazon SQS. First thing we're going to do is go ahead and ma manage our NuGet packages. We're going to get Amazon SQS here installed. Install. <coughs> and we'll come up here and say X using Amazon SQS. Context config. And we'll say config host. So here is where I'll specify the region that I want. And we're going to rock it out in US East 1. And then I can configure the host, and in this case, we're gonna have the access key and the secret key. Now, I'm gonna embed these. This is not production ready. I'm gonna embed my keys directly into the application. I'm gonna hard code them. That simply just makes this demonstration a little bit easier. And this final call to configure endpoints is what will actually register all of the consumers to an endpoint and makes the queues in Amazon land. So with that said, now we need to go and make a, and a user. So let's jump over to the browser. Here I am in my AWS account. We're going to add a user and I'm just going to do an inline policy to keep this easy today. Getting started. I'm going to do programmatic access only. And we're pretty much just going to skip all this. Yet I don't particularly care. Grab this. Do the thing you should never do in production. Go ahead and close that. And so we're going to jump into the user. And here I'm going to add an inline policy. And I've got one uh, ready to go in this case. So let's see here. Uh, so we're going to get SQS access to setting queues, receiving messages, creating queues, deleting messages. This is because Mass Transit will create your queues for you. Uh, we're going to need to delete messages, send messages, get QRL stuff, and change message visibility. And we're going to be able to do this in any region for any queue. For SNS, we need to be able to get the topic attributes. We need to be able to create topics, publish topics, subscribe topics. And again, here, we're going to be targeting any region and any topic. And finally, we need to be able to list the topics. And list topics doesn't really take a, uh, a resource. So we'll grab this. And we'll shortcut it. Go ahead and review the policy. And we'll call this getting started. Create policy. OK, so we've got everything there. And if I go back to my editor, everything looks good here. All right, let's give it a shot. .NET run. And there we are. We can see that the bus was started on Amazon SQS in US East 1, and we are successfully publishing messages and getting the content back. So that is kind of a whirlwind tour of not only setting up the in-memory uh, service bus, but also then the ease of transitioning over to the Amazon SQS. And if we were to go back to our browser, we can look at our topic and how that's set up. And we could come over here and look at our queues. And if we jump into the queue and go over to monitoring, I don't know if we'll have any date. Yeah, it's going to take some time for the data to show up. 
but you'd then be able to come in here and monitor your message queues. So thank you, everybody. If you have any questions, make sure to hit us up in the Discord channel. Thanks.